Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we will learn how to install Jenkins on EC2 Linux on Amazon and this will be very easy and we will go very basic step by step and we will cover this in 8 steps and we will see how to download and install Jenkins on EC2 Linux, how to access Jenkins from the browser, how to start and stop Jenkins service, how to start Jenkins on a different port other than the default port which is 8080 and we will also see how to uninstall Jenkins and we will look at some useful tips. So let's get started and step number one is we have to connect to our Linux system. So in my case I have this Amazon EC2 Linux system set up and I have this up and running so I can go to connect and I can connect it using all these uh, options and I can connect it using a PEM file and this is the command so I already have this file and I will use this to connect to the system so I will go to my terminal I'm on Mac so I can connect it through a terminal and I will say here so this is the command I can use to connect to the system and I will hit enter and this should get, let me connected to the Linux system and I am here so I can just say ls and yes I am on my Linux system so this was step number one and once you are on your Linux system you can just run this sudo yum update just to update all your packages on Linux so you can say sudo yum update and run this in my case everything is up to date and then we can install Java or check the Java version installed so just run this command I will clear the screen and the command is java space hyphen version this will show you your java version in case you are not getting this java version or you are getting something like command not found that means java is not installed or set up so you can use the command sudo yum install java and give the version number as per the latest version available at your time and this will install java also there is this command that you can use to select and use java from multiple java installations on your system so if i run this command you can see in my case there are three java installed or available on my system and i can select which java to use so for example you can see this plus icon that means this java is presently being used by the system and if i say three here and hit enter so this is java 7 and if i now say java space hyphen version I am getting Java 7 so this is being used by my system now I will again run the command and I want to use the latest which is Java 1 uh, which is Java 8 the option number 1 so I will say 1 and hit enter and if I say Java space hyphen version now I am getting Java 8 so this is done and all these notes and all these commands will be available to you in the description or notes section of this video so you will have all these data you can refer now after you have installed or set up java the fourth step is download latest jenkins code package using this command so i will copy this command and go to my linux and run this command so this will download jenkins and the next command is I have to import a key file from Jenkins CI to enable installation from the package so this is to set the trustworthiness of this installation so I will just run this command and this might be optional in some cases but it is better to run this so we have done this we have done this and this so the next step is step number six which is to install Jenkins and now I can just say sudo yum install Jenkins so I will clear the console and I will say sudo yum install Jenkins and this should install Jenkins I will say y and now this should get Jenkins installed on this Linux system and this is done so I should have Jenkins available now and to start Jenkins the command is sudo service Jenkins start so I will say sudo service Jenkins start and hit enter and if you see this ok that means Jenkins service is now started and to access Jenkins we can use our browser and go to the EC2 public DNS of our system and go to port 8080 so 8080 is the default port where Jenkins start we will also see how to change this port but for now we can go here and to get the public EC2 domain or IP you can just go to the details of your 
Linux. So in my case, this is the uh, public IP. So I can use this. I can say HTTP and this IP and port 8080 and I can go to the browser. I will go to the browser on my local system and hit this URL and this should show the Jenkins console or Jenkins window and yes you can see I have got my Jenkins here now just in case you are having any issues in accessing Jenkins through the URL you can check the security groups so if you go to your Linux Amazon EC2 system and go to actions and in networking you can see security groups so you can go here and select a security group where you have uh, access for port 8080 and it is available to be accessed from outside and you can also create new security groups from here and then assign it to your EC2 system so that might be uh, something required in case you are not able to access your Jenkins through browser and after that once you are able to access uh, you can see we have to unlock Jenkins using an admin password so for getting the password you can just see this so we have the admin password here and this location might not be accessible from the common user so you can always run this command sudo su hyphen that will give you root user access and then you can go to the this folder which is where lib jenkins secrets and here if i say ls minus l you can see we have this file initial admin password so i will say I want to see this contents I will say cat initial admin password and this is the password I will copy it from here go to my Jenkins and give it here and say continue and this should get me to the next window and yes I can install suggested plugins or select plugins to install and here I can select what plugins I want to install uh, now for now I'm just saying none so that I do not uh, invest time in installing the plugins you can install the suggested plugins and then do next and you can create your admin user I will just say continue as admin for now and this is your Jenkins URL I will say save and finish and this is complete I will say start using Jenkins and this will take me to my Jenkins dashboard and now I can start creating new jobs from here and my Jenkins is up and running now in case uh, you want to start Jenkins on a different port you can always change the port number on this file so here if I go to if I say cat and I go to this file you can see here we have this file and we should be having a port number here so you can see the Jenkins default port is 8080 and you can change it from here so I can actually say I can say vim and go to this file so I can open it in an editor and then I can press I on my keyboard to go to the insert mode and now if I see here this is the Jenkins port I will change it let us say I will make it to 9090 and then I will press escape on my keyboard press colon and WQ to right and quit and exclamation mark and hit enter and now I am out of this editor now if I again say cat and go to this file this time I should see the port number changed so let me just go up and I can see the port and you can see Jenkins port is now 1990 so now I will just say I will stop and start Jenkins and this is the command to stop Jenkins service I will say sudo service Jenkins stop and I will say sudo Jenkins sudo service Jenkins start again and yes this is done and now I should have this running on 1990 so if I try to access on 8080 you can see I'm not getting it and if I try to access on port 9090 I should be having my Jenkins up and yes it is coming up and you can see Jenkins is coming up here so you can use this to change the Jenkins port and this is the details to fetch admin password and this is the command to stop Jenkins now if you want to uninstall Jenkins you can just say uh, stop the service first so I will say I will first stop Jenkins service and then I 
will say sudo yum remove Jenkins so this will remove Jenkins I will say y and this has removed and then I will also clear this Jenkins folder so I will remove this Jenkins folder here and yes this is done and this will uninstall Jenkins on the system so this is how you can set up and install and uninstall Jenkins on Amazon EC2 Linux I hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching